No. Why? 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 Why, why, why? New York is definitely reopened today. So much traffic. Take a look at this. It looks really beautiful out there with the sunset and the clouds. So an idea for a fun little project to do today and it's involving using this Raspberry Pi. So this is an old Raspberry Pi with a screen attached to it that I had laying around. Um, it was originally used in an art show that I did a few years ago and I haven't really been using it since. So I kind of wanted to figure out something to do with it. So I have a few ideas up my sleeve and that's what we're gonna try to do today. So let me show you what I ended up deciding to do with this Raspberry Pi. I ended up building this very basic web app, so it's not quite designed just yet. I might spend another day designing it. I just wanted to make sure I got everything working with the APIs that it's wired into. But I have it playing full screen on my Raspberry Pi, which is below my monitor. It's kind of like this always on dashboard of some numbers that I might care about. Uh, and what we have here is the current price of Bitcoin, current price of Ethereum. These are updating about every 10 seconds. Um, then below that we have some stocks that I particularly care about. So we've got Square, DraftKings, and Snapchat. Um, these aren't currently updating because it's outside of market hours, but when it is market hours, these will also be updating every 10 seconds. And then that last number I have down there at the bottom right corner is my current YouTube subscriber count. So that's not updating as frequently because obviously my subscribers aren't climbing uh, that often, but hopefully you guys could help change that and then I'll be able to update the, the interval on that. But I have it down here below my monitor that's just kind of always on and I could always see um, what these numbers are as I'm working, just glance at it. Um, so I think that that is a pretty interesting usage of this Raspberry Pi. Um, let's see how long I use it and maybe I'll design it up and put a couple additional features in there. Um, but yeah, I thought this was just a fun little Tuesday night project um, to make usage of an old thing that I had laying around. So it's the next day and I had slightly updated the design of my little Raspberry Pi dashboard, made it a little bit more contrasty and I have some color indicators to show, you know, whether some stock prices are up or down for the day. Um, but yeah, I think this is something I'm just going to continue to evolve on and make better and more useful to me. Um, and we'll just see if I continue to use it. So this is a fun little project, fun little product that I hope to iterate on. Uh, so we'll see where it goes. So in my last vlog when I was making this puzzle box, it was pretty difficult because I was missing some pieces that I saw a lot of other puzzle boxes were using to do the little hidden tricks and things like that to kind of solve and open up the box with certain locking mechanisms. So a lot of those pieces were Lego Technic pieces and I didn't have any of those so I decided after doing this to go online and buy just a random one pound bag lot of just Lego Technic pieces. So I'm gonna look through this and see what pieces I got uh, and yeah, maybe some of these will help me out in trying to make a more interesting type of puzzle box. So 
So I just finished sifting through that one pound bag of Technic pieces that I just got and I separated out the most interesting pieces into this plastic container and then I dumped the rest of the pieces into my bucket just combining it with all the other pieces that I got. Overall pretty happy with the haul that came in. Um, I got a bunch of these gear pieces which are really cool. I think there's a lot I could do with these. There's quite a few of them in this collection and I was a little disappointed to not get too many of these pieces. So it has the joint on one side and then on the back it's a clear back. This literally was like the only piece of this kind that I got. A little bit disappointed with that but overall I think some of the other pieces were pretty cool and I think I could do some really interesting stuff next time. I play around with this and try to make another puzzle box. So I made one more addition to my dashboard. That's adding a background image. That's a photo I took of Jess's cat. So if you're curious on how I built the dashboard, it pretty much is just a website that my Raspberry Pi is showing full screen and it is collecting live data. So I'm using a couple APIs here. I'm using the Crypto Compare API to pull in the crypto prices. And then for the stock prices, I'm using FinHub's API. And I'm basically taking what the open price was from that API um, and comparing the current latest pulled price to that and seeing if it's higher or lower to decide whether or not it changes that number green or red. Um, it's harder to do that with the crypto prices because there's no concept of an open time or closed time But I'll try and figure out what I think would work for me of what I would like to know if a crypto price is up or down um, And as far as the YouTube subscriber count, that's actually pulling from the YouTube Google API um, And that is live data. So if somebody were to subscribe um, That would update to a higher number um, But that's a little bit of background. It's all coded using JavaScript all on the web based on my capabilities. I'm not a developer whatsoever, uh, but that's something that I was able to build using my Raspberry Pi, and I'm pretty excited about it, and I'm happy to use it. it was a pretty uneventful week but i'm sure there's going to be a lot more weeks like that i just want to thank everybody for continuing to watch these videos i'm enjoying making them and if anybody's got any questions for me i'd love to answer them in a future vlog so just leave them in the comments and i will get to them but aside from that i hope to see you in my next video peace <laughs>